Hey guys, this is Shreyas and welcome back to a new video after a long time. So I have been on a small break for myself and that's why no videos in the recent past. But I'm back again and with an interesting video for you guys. Now as you guys know, I have been using the Pixel 4a from the day of its launch in India. So it's been a very interesting experience for me. This is one of the very few phones that actually got me excited and it still does so in various ways. From time to time, they bring in not just the monthly security updates, but also a thing called as feature drop, which is nothing but a list of new features which are exclusive to pixels. And today we are going to look at what Google brought in for the pixel lineup with the March security update and what all are there in the feature drop. By the way, I have been using it with the Android 12 developer preview prior to this. So I just changed it back to the stable version not a big hassle and if you guys are interested in that comment down below so that i can bring you the next update of the developer preview when it comes out immediately now before we move on why don't you hit that like button get subscribed and click on that notification bell so that you guys know when i bring you another interesting video about the google pixel or about google features which are exclusive to the pixel now with that said this is shreyas and let's check that out Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that I found interesting is called uh, Gboard Enhanced Voice Typing. Now you might be aware that Gboard already had a dictation uh, feature which by hitting the microphone icon you can just say things and it will just write it down and the transcribing was really good to, in my experience at least. But it has got a subtle upgrade now. Now it is kind of integrated with Google Assistant voice features. So you'll get the flashy Google Assistant colors at the base of the phone screen and you can even instruct things like delete or send from the dictation itself and it will do so which was not existing before so it's a subtle change I would say it's a quality of life change not something necessary and it's definitely niche but I for one as I use Google Assistant a lot I do appreciate this change and you should definitely give it out one disclaimer I'm not sure if this has hit India yet or is it coming anytime soon. It only works with the English US QWERTY keyboard. Now, and as of shooting this video, you should be a part of the Gboard beta program, but I believe this should come down to the stable update very soon as well. Now, next is the recorder app. Now, Pixel has an amazing recorder app. I can't express how much. So you can search words which you have said because it will take the transcription and match it with the timeline of the recorded audio. So these are some neat features you can find out more about it. But now this recorder app has finally got a good backup system. Not just that, now you can access it from the desktop as well. Download it there and enjoy the same number of features like you do on your Pixel just on your desktop. So sharing between devices has become very easier and also you have a proper Google Drive backup system enabled now. So, so after this update, the recorder app actually feels complete to me. All right. So now another thing is Smart Compose. You might know about this if you have used Google Docs or Gmail. I'm not sure about the desktop, but at least on the phone apps, it does work very well. And I do use it on a daily basis myself as well. I did so even trying to script this particular video. But the fun part about this is now Smart Compose has actually come down to a few chat apps. There is no clear, uh, clarity around which chat apps does it support. Google Chats is definitely supported, but I don't know how many people use it. So I'll be trying it out and keep you updated in the pinned comments when it happens. You must have seen this particular teaser and the tweet by Google where it tries to use the camera to understand your breathing patterns, etc. and give you some results about your health. And now you can even place your finger on the camera lens and it will try to track your heart rate as well which is amazing that given that you don't need any additional hardware apart from a phone and I feel this could be really good. Again, this is not for medical purposes and it's mentioned explicitly on their page as well. So you should keep that in mind. But given that it has become way more accessible and you don't specifically need a smartwatch or anything else, I feel it's a great addition to the features of the Google Pixel. The next feature is kind of niche and not really relevant to the Pixel 4a. But if you have a Google Pixel 3, 4 series by chance, if you're in India or abroad, you can use the Pixel Stand and get 
access to a few more features it does the routines definitely it does more things like sleep sounds etc to help you with your sleep routine now with that you have some additional wallpapers as well this march has international women's day there are three uh, wallpapers you can check them out and another cool feature is that google pixels are supported on a certain type of underwater camera gear which and it has some ai techniques also baked in now to help you get better underwater pictures and this also includes modes like nightscape now obviously i can't check it out and let you know, guys know about it but viewers from outside and whoever is interested in water sports and owns a google pixel they can get their hands on this particular gear and yeah get better pictures underwater so yeah get clicking now that's that's about it and this covers the march feature drop of the google pixel 4a now i've been using this phone since it launched in india as you know and if you guys are interested in a long term review do let me know because i would like to do that as well also let me know in the comments down below how you would want me to approach the developer previews and the upcoming betas for android 12 so with that this is shreyas thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video